Good night. Good morning, wherever you are. Welcome again to my channel, Jamaican African Channel. Bless up to all my African family. Welcome back again. My topic tonight, one man conquer the world. And from what I have been seeing, you know, there's one man that run the world. And it's the man that called Putin. Because if, if it wasn't for the rest of the country like the United States, England, Australia, all the NATO group, I believe this war would not be happening that what's going on in Ukraine. All of them nothing up their said, saying, Putin, if you try anything with Ukraine, we're going to show you what we're going to do to you. And now Putin say, okay, I'm going to show you how tough I am. All of them run leave Ukraine, leave the country by himself to feel the pangs of hell from Russia. All you other country should do is to just stay out because you know that you wasn't going to help Ukraine. And I said this all the time, said the United States is a country that you should not trust them. Because Biden was the main one that always giving out his tough talk. And now you hear what he said, no, I'm not going to send any troops down there. So just keep out of the war, let the two neighbors sort out them things. And I guarantee that there would be no war. But I am saying to, to the world, wherever we are right now, in Africa, the Caribbean, if you don't have any nuclear clear weapon or bomb to defend yourself. We should take what's going on right now very, very serious. It's one of the next, and I am predict, predicting that the Caribbean, after you see Russia finish with Ukraine and they regroup, they're heading over to the Caribbean because they want to be as close as ever to the United States doorstep. So Caribbean people take this very serious. And remember I did tell you this. Because this man is a terrorist. And the world should not sit by and watch the, this man destroy in Ukraine like this. Because it could be another one, it could be China, it could be North Korea or Iran decide to invade another country and this is how you're going to watch and see they're destroying another country. I know the United States wasn't going to attack Russia. Two things, they get their help from Russia and they are afraid of Russia. So I know they only was making their big chat because America is like a sweet pepper. They're just big and don't have any use and no flavor. They're not hot. Just one bag of mouth and, and Putin realized that. Because all they coming up Everyone, sanction, sanction. When you put sanction on these country, these dictator country, do you know who feel it? It's just the ordinary people. Because these guys don't care one damn if, if people want to eat food as long as they're building their weapon of mass destruction. 
You try it with North Korea, they're building more weapons. You try it with Iran, they're building more weapons. Now you're telling Putin out. We, 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 we knocking you left, right and centre with sanction. That that don't care Putin that don't hurt Putin one bit because Putin well alright. As long as he and his close associate is good. Everything is good for them. It's the small set of people going to feel the pangs of hell in all what you're doing. When ISIS rise up down in Iraq, the entire world went down there and get rid of ISIS. This man is a terrorist, so why you not didn't do the same thing with this man? But you're not afraid of him. Because all of you have to depend on Russia. So it is just one bag attack. And Putin know that. But your day is coming. And you know, I am saying to all of these poor people that have their children and encourage them to go in, in the army or the police. You know, should stop it. Because all what you are doing is send your little young kids to give out their, their lives for these evil people. Because there is two institutions I would never find myself into. A police force and a soldier because they are no brainer, they don't have any sense. Because no one could ever ask me to go and fight an innocent war. Especially a war like this with the Ukraine. It is my neighbor, my brother. And you're going to have one big fool. Fool all of you, manipulate you so much that you went to Ukraine and killing innocent people in the name of one evil man. My God, but I'm saying the world need to take this very serious, especially African country and the Caribbean. We don't have any missile or bomb to defend ourselves. So we are going to left with the mercy of God. So it is it's a devastating time right now. My heart is like it bleeding because I don't know why the world would really sit by and watch Russia to destroy these people. I can't believe. I cannot believe. So people you know, it's just the other day I was having a conversation and saying we 90% of people that live in this world, we are so ignorant. We are such a fool because it's our money. We are to be working and paying taxes. For all these countries over the world, we sit by and watch them having our money building new clear weapon and bomb and massive destruction of evil to destroy people with our taxpayer money and we sat there and, and and not saying anything and this is the end result because all who that suffer from war it's the poorer set of people and it's poor people children that they have mostly in the army so that's why they always create war because they know the 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 little kids them that they're sending there they, they don't matter much to us so we create war and send them to die because if someone don't create war there can be no war so people it is a serious serious time so all I could ask poor people to do right now, just get on your knee and pray. I, 
I, I don't know if, if the prayer be left, but that's the only solution because we allow those people to control things with the help of the army and the police that I, I don't even see if it, anything can ever change anymore. So, all I'm saying, you pray and I am praying for you. And I wish I could help you, but I cannot help. But I am praying for you and for the citizens of Ukraine, all of you, that you will prevail over this evil monster. So, people, until next time, thank you very much. Asante sana.